Pleased to be joined with Regina Pat's Assistant General Manager, Dale Durkatch, after a very exciting day of announcements, of course, with Alan Miller naming you the new Assistant General Manager of the Regina Pats. Of course, you're nicknamed the Rat. You've been a part of this organization several different times. You were once a head coach of the Regina Pats. Uh, you were also a traveling scout a couple of years ago with the Pats organization. And of course, uh, you are a very important member of the Pats organization as a player as well. How exciting is this day for you and your family, given that you have the opportunity to work for a franchise that you essentially set up so many records? Oh, it's very exciting. Uh, again, I want to thank uh, Sean Semple, Gord Pritchard, and Alan Miller for you know giving me this opportunity. It's, it's very exciting. Of course, uh, uh, Al made it pretty tough to say no. He was uh, excellent through the process, and obviously to be back working for a team that I you know truly love, and uh, I'm really excited. I think you and I have talked about this before, just how scouting has evolved over so many years. You were a player that uh, played with a lot of skill and speed. Uh, you also had a lot of tenacity on the ice as well, as the legends call it. Um, how is your scouting in terms of how you evaluate players evolved over the last, I guess, 20 years or so? Because you've scouted in the NHL, you were with Prince Albert before, you've coached, and now you're back as an AGM with the Pats. Yeah, you know, scouting has changed. Uh, the game has changed a lot. That probably uh, reflects in the type of players needed uh, these days compared to, you know, 15 or 20 years ago or even 10 years ago. You know, I mean, uh, back in the day, skating was a, a premium, and, and now generally all the players can skate. So if you take that out of the equation, I think you look for players that are smart, who understand the game, who are uh, can be coached by the coaches and understand what the coaches are telling them, and competitiveness. I think those two areas are, are kind of the areas. Uh, if you can get players that have those qualities, you know, they maybe they don't have the skill, but if you have those qualities, they, I call them players that play in the tough times, uh, help you win when the games are close. Those are the type of players uh, I'm looking for. I know you and I have kind of shared similar thoughts on this in our conversations in the past, but uh, another aspect of scouting is getting to know these players as people, getting to know their families, uh, not only on the ice, but uh, what type of people they are off the ice. So uh, how important is that for you as a scout coming here to the Pats organization? I know that's something that Alan Miller values incredibly. He said it today in the press conference in bringing yourself and Ryan Smith in, good people, also know the game as well. So for you as a scout, how important will it be for you uh, to get to know these players off the ice as well? Well, that's at the top of the list. Um, you know, most scouts can go in and evaluate a player's talents when we're looking at skating, puck skills, you know, um, uh, work ethic. You can see that. But to get to know the people, get to know the players, that they're going to be willing to put in the extra time and effort which goes into making you the best you can be. And it's not so much just the hockey playing, it's all summer. Are you gonna work out? Are you gonna put in that time? Or are you off at the lake having a good old time and, and forgetting about getting ready for the season? I'm not saying that players don't need some free time and time away from the rink, I think you do, but you have to know that you also have to be ready for the season and you need to have that character to wanna do those things. And most players say they wanna do them, but to do them is, is a, hard, a hard thing to do and it, it takes a lot of time and effort and you need those types of people. Uh, Dale, maybe not too many people know this story, but uh, you're one of the big reasons why Colton Bridgman was listed and signed by the Regina Pats organization uh, following the 2021-22 season. Uh, you've coached Colton in the past, obviously the, the connection with your son and Colton, and uh, he's another example of somebody who uh, didn't play at the highest level growing up and has still had the opportunity to play in the Western Hockey League. Given the example of Colton and what he's done with the Pats organization, uh, how important will it be for you and your coaching or your scouting staff uh, to turn over every single rock and try to find those diamonds in the rough? Because uh, essentially when you don't get drafted, you still have an opportunity to get listed. Yeah, for sure. Colton's one of those uh, stories of perseverance. Uh, most of the kids, when you know they're looking forward to that day of the WHL draft and they don't get drafted, it's a tough blow to many of them and they feel like their career is over. But um, as Al said, Yes, most teams, they have 14 to 15 drafted players on their team. What about the other five or six to make your roster up? They're listed players. So it's never over, but to put in that hard work after not being you know, drafted is sometimes tough. But a guy like Colton still looked at, he had a goal, he put in the work, time, effort. He also grew not only in stature and size, but also developed 
in terms of his personality and him as a person and look where he is today. I mean, so things can happen and there's many stories like that. Well, congratulations on the opportunity. Looking forward to having your, uh, yourself back in the organization. Thanks so much, Dale. Well, thank you very much, Dante. Looking forward to it and uh, we'll have some fun together.